It's hard to figure out just what elevates an actor's performance into greatness. Sometimes it's a commitment, other times it's technical skill. The sheer ability of a performer to portray the subtleties and nuances of a challenging character. Often the right role simply fits an actor like a glove. And occasionally, if everything plays out just right, all these things can happen at once, making for some of the greatest moments in movie history. These are a few of those moments. Becoming less than human there's a tremendous degree of difficulty in performing the role of a human stripped of their humanity, someone whose soul has been ravaged to the point of no return, and no actor has managed it quite like Choi Min Sik in Park Chan Wook's brutal masterpiece, Old Boy. Choi stars as Oh Dae Su, a man out for revenge after being imprisoned in a hotel room under mysterious circumstances by unknown forces. There's little recognizable humanity in Dae Su when he first emerges from his makeshift prison, and what remains has been stripped away by the film's climax. Choi scrapes down into the absolute depths of the human soul and offers a turn which audiences will likely never forget, no matter how much they'd like to. <laughs> Digging Deep Gavin O'Connor's 2011 drama Warrior is one of the unsung triumphs of the decade. What could have been a glorified lifetime cable drama instead turned out as a heart-wrenching story about fathers, sons, and brothers. Joel Edgerton and Nick Nolte delivered their own remarkable performances, but it was Tom Hardy who really made the movie what it is. Hardy's character Tommy is a raw, exposed nerve of a human being, ravaged by trauma, guilt, and hate. Hardy masks the character's confusion, sadness, and fear with a shield of brashness that deflects every friendly hand that comes his way. It's a testament to Hardy's own talents that his character never becomes outright unlikable, despite the script giving us every reason to hate him. The sum of their parts even the most stellar ensemble casts are outshone by one or two standout characters. Pulp Fiction has Vincent and Jules. The Usual Suspects is very much Verbal's story. But the best ensemble movies are defined by a cast of characters who all excel together. It's rare, but it happens, and The Breakfast Club is the best example of this kind of movie. It's impossible to pinpoint a single performance among the main cast as the best, not only because they're all just so good, but because removing one piece of the ensemble would bring everything tumbling down. Now it's eight. You stay out of it. Excuse me, sir, it's seven. Shut up, Pee Wee! Some of the finest teen stars of the 1980s were brought together to form the eponymous Breakfast Club, including Molly Ringwald, Anthony Michael Hall, Emilio Estevez, Judd Nelson, and Ali Sheedy. Each cast member works in perfect tandem with the other four, and every character receives equal focus. There's no lead or standout actor, and the result is a collective performance that's nothing less than magical. Nearing the breaking point. In Do the Right Thing, Spike Lee's Mookie is a man adrift, caught in his day-to-day -day life between working for a family of racist Italian-Americans and his friendship with other aggrieved African-Americans, Mookie is a character driven by a powerful and almost unresolvable frustration. Lee takes the character on a journey from selfish passivity to insatiable fury, channeling the character's anger and slowly building towards an inevitable breaking point. His performance was one of the best of the decade and is as powerful today as when the movie was first released.